In this video, I will explain why the Crocodile locomotive is a worthy investment. Its appearance, while underwhelming at first, has grown on me over time and I believe its value will grow as well once it retires for these three main reasons. Number 1. Trains perform well. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that LEGO trains perform very well once retired. If we take the average 3-year compound annual growth rate of similar sets, Horizon Express, Mayor's Train, and the infamous Emerald Knight, we get roughly 50%. That means that the Crocodile locomotive should grow to about $350 after a three-year retirement period. I found that this is the sweet spot for selling, but I plan on diving into compound annual growth rate and selling in future video, so stay subscribed for when that drops. Number two, exclusive bricks. Exclusive bricks help drive up future value because it's more difficult for collectors to piece sets together from spare parts. The Crocodile has 13 elements that come in 10 or fewer sets, including the unique windshield design and three, count them, three printed pieces. Unfortunately, the main label is still a big sticker, but I assume that would have been difficult to print in multiple languages. Number three, first in a series. This claim could be debated, but the LEGO Grip has recently shown that they are paying more attention to the AFAL market with the 18 Plus line, and the introduction of the Crocodile locomotive sends a clear signal that trains are a big part of that strategy. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first in a series of annual train releases similar to the modular buildings or Holiday Winter Village. If that's the case, then the Crocodile locomotive could be even more valuable as the first in a new series. I understand the argument that the Emerald Knight and the other trains that have come before would count as well, but I really think that a line has been drawn and a new golden age of LEGO trains has begun with this set. There you have it, three reasons to invest in the Crocodile locomotive. The average shelf life for similar sets is 25 months, so I expect this set to retire around holiday 2022. As always, if you agree or disagree with me, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. If you want more content like this, I highly recommend subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. You can also check out our podcast, just search for the Toy Talk Guys in your podcast app of choice or click the link in the description below. Remember that this is not professional investing advice, all investing involves risk, and you are solely responsible for that risk. Thanks for watching, and see you again next time.